This video gives short explanation about how to control feedback digital pendulum mechanical unit 33 to 200 using Simulink MATLAB. This is made by undergraduate student of Electrical Engineering Department, Temp Nopender Institute of Technology. Inverted pendulum and cart IPC system is nonlinear and unstable system. Thus, it is not as easy as controlling linear and stable system. It is used to illustrate many of the ideas in the field of nonlinear control systems. These systems can be found on the rocket launcher and the development of humanoid robots. The dynamics system become the basic research in terms to test methods of control. There are three inverted pendulum control problems, swing up, stabilization, and tracking problem. There are several methods that have proposed to solve these problems on inverted pendulum. IPC system consists of several component. The first is, pendulum itself, which is mounted on a cart. Pendulum can swing freely in the vertical plane. The cart is driven by DC motors connected by belt. The cart, can move left and right on the limited rail length to swing the pendulum. The cart position and the pendulum angular position, can't be monitored by using position encoder, and angle encoder. The light beams, emit by two light sources. A and B go through two rings of slits on the disc. The slits have phase difference, so that the electric output receivers, A and B are rectangular waves with a phase difference. The sign of the phase difference, allows the direction of rotation to be determined. The control signal, flows from the computer through digital analog converter of the data acquisition board. The digital analog output, is wired to the power amplifier input which drives the DC motor. The power amplifier and encoder interface are located in the digital pendulum controller box. This box is equipped with two switches, the main power switch and the switch for cutting off the DC motor power. At the rail ends, there are two limit switches which cut off the DC motor power, when the cart overruns the limit points. And, this is the implementation result. 